Hey Cowboys Nation, let's delve into another round of updates from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and subscribe to stay tuned for everything that unfolds about the Cowboys. Owner Jerry Jones is feeling assured, deeming the team a Super Bowl contender. The Dallas Cowboys added to their victory tally this week. The triumph prompted remarks from Jerry Jones about his certainty in the team's ability to secure a sixth Lombardi trophy after their 45-10 win over the Washington Commanders on Thanksgiving. Jerry observed this team is poised for Super Bowl greatness. The Cowboys improved to 8-3 on the year, edging closer to the Philadelphia Eagles, who presently lead the NFC East. With the Eagles facing a challenging schedule, there's a possibility both teams could swap positions in the NFC East by the season's end. With the win against the Commanders, the Cowboys are nearing solidification of a wild card spot while aiming for more. The coaches are focused on reaching the playoffs, but Jerry Jones is eyeing the NFC Championship game, a feat the Cowboys haven't achieved since 1995. The Cowboys' regular season performance looks promising, but going deep in the playoffs and reaching the Super Bowl is the only way fans will fully embrace Jerry's comment. Dak Prescott, on being mentioned for MVP, says, If my name's in there, that means we're playing well. Dak Prescott has faced criticism in his eight seasons as the Cowboys' starting quarterback, but in the past five games, no quarterback in the NFL is performing better. He has completed 127 of 180 passes for 162 yards with 17 touchdowns and two interceptions, earning a 124.80 passer rating in that stretch. The Cowboys have won four of the five games. Prescott's name has entered the MVP conversation for the first time since his rookie season of 2016. He was asked Monday whether that means anything to him. No, I mean, it means I'm playing well, simple as that, not really, Prescott said via Skylar Dixon of the Associated Press. I'm about one goal, and it's a big team goal, and I know if my name's in there, that means we're playing well, so that's great. But at the end of the day, we're just trying to build. I mean, being eight years into this thing, it's about building and building and making sure we're getting better and better each and every week and getting hot right when we need to be. The MVP award has become a quarterback award with the quarterbacks from the top AFC team and the top NFC team vying for it at the end of the year. The process of voting changed last year, with five players getting votes on a 105-3-2-1 basis rather than voters writing only one player on their ballot. Still, the Cowboys likely will have to win the NFC East at a minimum for Prescott to have a shot to win it over Eagles quarterback Jan Hurz. The Cowboys still have a chance to do that, despite currently being two games behind the Eagles. Dallas plays the Seahawks on Thursday, with Philadelphia playing the 49ers on Sunday. If the Cowboys win and the Eagles lose, their showdown in Arlington in Week 14, where the Cowboys have won 13 in a row, will be for the division lead. Prescott, who had a league-leading 15 interceptions last season, has 23 touchdowns and 6 interceptions this season. His 107.4 passer rating is far and away the best of his career. It gives credit to everything around this team, the organization, the coaches, people just handling their business, being prepared. Prescott said, Our process has been amazing throughout this season, just when the game plan comes in, how early it gets gets in and the process we go through after that to be ready to call a game. The play caller's purpose is clear and precise on everything. Just really, the challenge is just staying true to that process, not getting ahead, not getting overwhelmed, understanding that what I say to myself is I haven't done, you know what I mean. Regular season numbers are great, but getting wins, that's what's most important. At the end of the day, we're trying to stack and keep growing this team to get better each and every week. Dallas Cowboys rumors continue to swirl about the future of starting. Running back Tony Pollard. Bleacher reports Matt Holder believes Part will move on in free agency this offseason. The analyst suggests The Cowboys could turn to Kansas City Chiefs veteran Jarek McKinnon in free agency as a possible replacement. Tony Part is Playing on the franchise tag and Dallas is estimated to begin the 
offseason significantly over the cap, according to Spectra. Holder wrote in a November 27, 2023, article entitled NFL Team Needs, prioritizing every roster's biggest weaknesses entering Week 13. The soon-to-be 27-year-old will likely be looking for a payday in the offseason, meaning he'll probably be playing elsewhere next season. McKinnon has over 2,000 receiving yards in his career and could at least replace what Part brings to the passing game, but at a fraction of the price. McKinnon is playing on a one-year $1.3 million contract and shouldn't command much more than that in free agency. If the Cowboys do move on from Part, it is hard to imagine McKinnon would be the team's solution at RB1. McKinnon has made a minimal impact on the Chiefs' offense this season. Through the first 12 weeks, McKinnon has just 13 carries for 30 yards. McKinnon has been more active in the passing game, adding 19 catches for 155 yards and 3 touchdowns. A solution that makes more sense is Dallas finding their next RB1 in. The draft is a more affordable option than part. The Cowboys could sign a low-cost veteran like McKinnon as a complimentary piece. This would not be an upgrade over part. Cowboys rumors linking the team to running backs are sure to heat up this offseason. Tony Part is starting to find his footing as the Dallas Cowboys RB1. After being Upgraded to the Dallas RB1 role, Part has had an up and down season. The good news is Part is starting to find his footing as the postseason nears. Part is coming off his best statistical game since week three with his big Thanksgiving outing. The playmaker had 13 carries for 79 yards and a touchdown. Part added six receptions for 24 yards. That concludes our roundup of the latest Cowboys updates. From Super Bowl aspirations to record-breaking plays, the Cowboys journey continues to captivate fans. Don't forget to subscribe, leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned for more exciting news from America's team. As the Cowboys gear up for their next challenge against the Seattle Seahawks, the anticipation for more memorable moments is at an all-time high. Until next time, Keep the stars shining bright and go Cowboys.